There is a key role for Revenue Watch to play in the Middle East and North Africa because these revolutions have been carried by civil society and they have been asking for a, a, a new social contract with the government. And we have, we have been working with, engaging with this civil society and working on transparency so we can help uh, these movements engineer a new way of, of dealing with the revenues, the money that's coming from oil and how these monies are spent. Revenue Watch says to the government that in the long run they have to diversify the economy. What this means is that they have to invest the monies that they get from the oil sector into other sectors of the economy. That means creating more manufacturing, creating, uh, making sure that they have some uh, agriculture, or if, if they can, or fisheries, uh, to make sure that their sources of growth are different because eventually all these countries will run out of oil. It may not be tomorrow, it may be in 20 years, but that will happen and they will need new sources of growth for everyone. It's counterintuitive, but higher oil prices are actually fueling the expectations of the population that there will be more education, more, um, more employment, more jobs for them, and yet they have seen none of that coming in the last 10 years. Revenue Watch can bring two things. In the short term, it can help countries become more transparent about how they manage the monies from uh, the oil sector, uh, and it can help them uh, design systems so that they disclose how much money is earned, they make contracts available, they publish what's going on in their uh, sovereign wealth funds, and in the long run, it can advise the governments about how they may harness the, the oil revenues to other sectors of the economy so that they are not dependent on these resources. The Revenue Watch believes that the role of civil society in Middle East and North Africa is fundamental in checking what the government is doing with the money that it's collecting from oil. The revenues from oil belong to the people, therefore civil society has to know what's going on in the oil sector and have accountability on how these monies are used and whether these monies are used for them.